Greetings Legionnaires! Today I bring you my tactical report on Far Cry 5, a game filled with guns, goons, and gasoline tanks. Does it properly build off its predecessors while forging its own path though? I'll tell you all that and more along with a brief spoiler free plot synopsis, the highlights, and the shortcomings. Your journey takes place in fictional Hope County, settled deep in the Montana countryside. Normally a quaint and quiet place, the area has been set upon by a group of cultists known as Eden's Gate. Their leader, Joseph Seed, also known as the Father, has slowly amassed a devoted following of subservient worshippers willing to do anything for their beloved leader. To call this fanatical uprising, you have been called in to rescue local law enforcement while also wiping out Joseph and his lieutenants to free the region of their tyrannical reign. Let's begin as always with the positive aspects of the title. Conversely, compared to the previous outings in the Far Cry series, this one is set stateside as opposed to the tropical islands, African savannas, or snow-frosted peaks of the Himalayas found in the past. The lush and tranquil setting is a fantastic backdrop to all the carnage that inevitably ensues. Each outpost, region, and town feel distinctly different, which lessens any tedium found in former installments. Enemy encampments you liberate no longer suffer from being cookie-cutter replacements of ones you defeated formerly, ranging from a water treatment facility to an old wooden lodge, or even a small theme park where a grizzly bear was once the main attraction. This level of detail, not only in these forts, is ubiquitous throughout the entire experience, making the world feel truly lived in. The denizens, both friend and foe alike, also feel like they have lives and a history with the area, which goes a long way to making you feel as if you're an outsider looking in, which is a staple of the franchise. While your allies are memorable in their own right, it's the villains who really steal the show. Joseph, John, Jacob, and Faith are ever-present threats that all bring their own unique brand of insanity to the table. Constant heinous acts and radio chatter really motivate you to bring them down as quickly as possible. Not since Voss and Far Cry 3 has there been a main antagonist this sinister, solidifying Joseph Seed as one of the series' best foes. To correctly deal with this wicked threat, words are set aside and all manner of armaments are put in their place. Automatic rifles, shotguns, pistols, bows, and even lever-action repeaters are your tools of justice, and they all feel excellent. Gunfire can be heard echoing through the mountains as a decisive shot heralds the beginning of a skirmish or punctuates the ending of one. Far Cry, like many other Ubisoft titles, allows you to tackle combat in two primary ways, quietly or devastatingly loud. Throwing knives, arrows, and silent takedowns are key to dismantling enemy forces without the aid of cultist reinforcements. This style is also rewarded with cash too if you're able to prevent any alarms being triggered or if you can completely take the base without any incident. However, the game doesn't penalize you for rolling up with an arsenal of gun-mounted vehicles, explosives, and heavy weapons. Firefights are fast and fluid, forcing you to move and use a variety of munitions to achieve your goals. Even melee weapons such as baseball bats and shovels can be utilized, making some fights feel more like backyard brawls. While tackling objectives like this alone can be quite enjoyable, employing a gun or fang for hire adds a fun new twist. Throughout the game, you come across either random civilians or specialists that you can call forth in your struggles against Eden's Gate. Jess Black, a bow-wielding huntress, is ideal for putting down fanatics soundlessly, while Cheeseburger the Grizzly Bear is a true terror, drawing the ire of all and laying waste to any who stand in his way. Hearing these characters react to other partners makes the team feel much more natural, Giving Boomer the gun dog or Peaches the mountain lion a nice scratch behind the ears after a successful mission really endears you to them too. Arguably, the best partner is one of your own choosing. Far Cry 5 allows you to play the entire game with a friend in co-op. While you only retain upgrade points, guns, and money if you aren't the one hosting the session, this is the best way to experience all that the Montana countryside has to offer. Coordinating assaults, covering each other while the bullets fly, or even traveling from point A to point B is just more fun with a friend. While tackling main objectives progresses the story most quickly, side activities can be wonderfully distracting too. Chief among these are prepper stashes. Throughout your time exploring the wilderness, you'll find hints or locations where weapons, ammo, crafting components, and upgrades slash perk points can be found. These act as mini puzzles that are completely optional, but are highly incentivizing. Like the outposts before them, each one is completely different, from concrete bunkers to an airplane hangar, or even to an old haunted house. Each pepper stash feels as if the owner was a real person preparing for the worst. Finally, the score and soundtrack that are present throughout are phenomenal. The banjo and fiddle infused melodies permeating your excursions accent the western vibe of the locale. The sparing usage of pop songs and the overly used songs of Eden's Gate also help set the tone, making the game feel rooted in some semblance of reality. While Far Cry 5 does many things very well, it does have a few minor setbacks. Like the Assassin's Creed titles before it, 
At seemingly random intervals in the game, the overarching narrative pulls you out of whatever you're doing at the time. While this makes some sense thematically, it can be rather irksome if free roaming is your main goal earlier on. It also suffers from open world issues such as clipping, insane physics, and glitching enemies. These problems seem further exacerbated when playing with a buddy. Overall, Far Cry 5 is the best in the franchise. The villains are excellent, the setting is perfect, and the gunplay is overly satisfying. While bugs seem plentiful and the story tends to lead you around by the nose from time to time, these issues are overshadowed by all the positives. Far Cry 5 is a bedlam-infused joyride that shouldn't be missed. Legionnaires, agree with my review? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next review. If you want to hear more Far Cry 5 talk, check out the Critical Podcast where we discuss the game at length. If you want to support the channel, consider visiting patreon.com slash critical reviews. It is most appreciated. Thanks for dropping by, and remember to adapt and overcome.